I'm Tom Gerald, and I was the first instructor hired at the new school that's going to be built out uh, next to the airport, they were referred to. Uh, Northeast, uh, back before it was Northeast State. It was State Area Vocational Technical School and uh, Tri-City State Area Vocational Technical School. The, uh, the name was longer than the school. Now here we are on the same spot uh, 50 plus years later after having started here January 2nd, 1966, uh, there's been a lot of changes and so uh, this was the main entrance into the shop area of the programs and so we're looking now uh, to tear these buildings down, just remove these buildings and we can see in the end down there the entrance doors into the new uh, technology building and which was uh, long anticipated for many, many years, and so it's uh, great to see it come to fruition. So, but there's a lot of memories down this uh, walkway here, and uh, so uh, we had a, a drafting and design program uh, here in this first wing, and uh, Ed Geyer was the first uh, tool and die instructor there, and so uh, we had uh, then the uh, off to the left down there was our welding program, and uh, Ray Dixon was the uh, first uh, welding instructor, and then um, across there was the electrical instructor, electrical program there. And so then uh, the automotive program, program was on the right, last uh, shop down on the right there, and then the machine shop, where I spent uh, many years, was uh, there on the left. A lot of memories here. Takes me back, 1966. One big empty building. Had no idea of what the future would hold. A lot of good memories. A lot of students have gone through here and uh, done well. Uh, uh, they not only got jobs, but uh, they went out and uh, set up uh, businesses of their own. So a lot of success stories that uh, have been told here. And of course, uh, all the instructors are extremely proud to uh, place their graduates uh, for what they were trained. We were proud of our graduates uh, 54 plus years ago, and in that uh, as I recall, 100% of our graduates were employed here in the Tri-Cities. Jobs were waiting for them. We couldn't graduate uh, students quick enough. And so with a great history of the job placement and uh, people uh, preparing uh, for their future, uh, and so as we look what has taken place in these shop programs where people have learned a skilled trade to be employed, go on and be business owners. And so now as we look into the future, and this school has always been looking into the future. It's hard to imagine that these uh, buildings will be removed where so much history and so much success took place. But uh, at the end of this corridor, you see the doors there, new doors. And those doors will be opening soon to receive new high school graduates coming in, college transfer students as well coming in, to prepare, prepare themselves for future in technology. And so the school continues to provide uh, training and education for the people of our Tri-Cities region here so that uh, I've been involved in a great past and so it's exciting. So from the, the first teacher, the first educator, the first uh, shop instructor here, uh, as we look to the future, uh, not only
students, faculty, I wish you the very best.